My name is Cheryl Cruz and I am co-founder of Breast Density Matters UK, which is a breast cancer patient advocacy. I am attending the Cancer Symposium at Bath University today to educate and share information on breast density and to talk about why breast density matters. Uh, last year, following my 50th birthday, I received an invitation for a mammogram. I have no family history of cancer, nor did I have any symptoms. I was immediately informed that the mammogram was clear. However, the radiologist insisted that I had a supplemental ultrasound, which detected a small shadow. And the subsequent biopsy confirmed an eight millimeter invasive cancerous tumor. My treatment was minimal, a lumpectomy, an operation to remove the tumor, and radiotherapy. No mastectomy, no chemotherapy, nor metastatic cancer. I decided to educate myself, and I discovered that breasts are made up of fatty tissue and dense tissue, glandular tissue. Dense breasts are normal. 40% of women age 40 and over have dense breasts. A mammogram detects a woman's breast density, but women are not informed of this. Density is not a constant, so it can change with age. The issue with dense breasts is that whilst a mammogram may detect cancers in fatty breasts, they are not as effective for detecting cancers in dense breasts. So on a mammogram image, cancer appears white, but so does dense tissue. Basically, it is like looking for a snowball in a snowstorm. Women with dense breasts should be referred for further screening. So some statistics, up to 50% of breast cancers go undetected in women with dense breasts. In the UK, up to 3,500 breast cancers go undetected each year. And dense tissue is a strong predictor for developing breast cancer. The denser the breasts, the greater the risk. I am not a medical expert, however, Breast Density Matters UK is supported by medical professionals from the UK and worldwide, breast surgeons, radiologists, scientists, as well as breast cancer patients from Canada, Australia, Argentina, and the USA. In the USA, 30 US states have now introduced legislation to inform women of their breast density and that a mammogram alone may not be sufficient. Also, breast density is not breaking news. In France, supplemental ultrasound has been coupled with mammography for many years. What is new is that scientists are now stepping up and talking about it, especially in Australia, where scientists and researchers have held public forums as they believe women need to be informed. So a couple of final points. We have launched a petition to the UK government so if you would like to sign and support the campaign, do get in touch. Our advice to women is knowledge is power. So edu educate yourself on density. Be breast aware, touch, look, and check your breasts regularly. And if you have any concerns, visit your GP and be assertive for a breast referral. Some brief acknowledgements and my thanks goes to Terry Bainbridge and Lisa Portman, co-founders, and Patricia Copestake, um, a lead ambassador and breast cancer patient. Um, indeed, thanks to all our ambassadors who continue to support the campaign.